Welcome to DQ's series on online multimedia and accessibility featuring Glenda Sims, Senior Accessibility Consultant with DQ. When we're talking about making video content accessible, there are actually two pieces. The more commonly understood piece is captions. That's where we're trying to make sure that the audio content of the video is accessible to people who cannot hear. That means that all dialogue and important sounds are turned into a written caption or a written transcript that is then time synced to the video. Um, it's also valuable that when adding the caption that you also make the pure transcript in a text format available. While this is not a technical requirement to make the transcript by itself accessible and available to people, I would highly recommend it. If you've gone to the effort to add a time sync caption to your video, that means that you have a transcript file available. Why is the transcript file useful? Because for people who may need to slow down and read that content or to reread it or who are easily distracted by perhaps what's happening visually on the screen, they can focus on that text transcript and sometimes get better access to the information. So I think of it as a double bonus. The additional piece that a lot of people are not aware of for making video content accessible is called audio description. And this accessibility is for a whole different type of user disability. And that is for people who cannot see. What we're trying to do is describe what's happening important visually in a video to make sure that they get all of that content. In the example of this video, you wouldn't need very much audio description because what we're dealing with here is a video of me talking directly to the camera. And there's nothing critically being shown. There's no graph. There's no demonstration where I'm saying, and look here, you can obviously see what's occurring in this demo. If there were that type of element happening, you would need an audio description. My best way of describing audio description is imagine you're in a movie and you're blind. Imagine you're in a horror movie and you're blind and you're only listening to the dialogue. And for those who can see, there's a shadow on the wall in the picture of someone holding a gun. This is a really important visual element that would need to be audio described to the user. For more information, head to dq.com slash CVAA to read our free white paper on the 21st Century Communications and Accessibility Act.